What is going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to my personal channel. My name is Joss Bedard. I'm a full-time YouTube host here in Toronto, Ontario. I film full-time for YouTube at a company and I'm on different channels. One called Top 10 Beyond the Screen, one called Top 10 Central, and one called Sassy. I will link them down below if you want to check them out. However, you don't have to. You can just stay here and hang out with me with being on the internet as a full-time job and your videos being out there comes a lot of judgment. Yeah. And yeah, not all of it is positive. There are actually a lot of people out there that cannot stand me and cannot stand what I do. So with that being said, I'm going to expose some of these entitled people who enjoy writing those hateful comments on my videos. That is right, I've done this before on this channel. You guys seem to enjoy it. Why not, right? Let's call out these Karens and male Karens who clearly have a lot to say. Let's get right into it. Brenda Combs wrote, <laughs> she said she's not the brightest person. Laugh emoji, at least she knows. Brenda, I'm an honest person. I will fully admit that I am not the brightest crayon in the box and I have no shame in my game and I will totally admit that to everyone on the internet. You're right, at least I know and at least I am open and honest with myself and the rest of the world. Peter Woods says, just show the clips. We don't need more oh my God commentary. Oh my God, you do though. You totally do need more of my commentary. The thing that gets me the most is that two of my channels are reaction channels, so I'm reacting to clips and people absolutely hate reactions. Like they're like, why are you in the video? And it's like, that's literally my job. If you don't want to see a reaction, don't watch a reaction channel. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why they get so mad. It's like, don't watch it then. Charles Rayleigh says, oh, oh, this one is serious. You post the silliest, dredging, most vacious shit. Happy to see you've got a platform. Sad to see how much you don't do with it. Huh? What? It's a reaction channel. All we post is reaction videos. I'm not sure what else you want from that, um, but suggestion box, I'm open to suggestions. You know, rather than writing a mean comment, you could always just like, suggest what else we could do. I am totally open for criticism. Like if I had an imaginary like suggestions box on the internet, um, I would put it, but it's called the comment section. So feel free guys, let me know what um, we should be doing with our platform. Also, what's dredging mean? <laughs> David Arras says, confusion seems to be your natural state. You have no idea. My entire life is just one confusing mess. I'm confused all the time. I'm confused from the minute I wake up to the minute I fall asleep. Nothing really in this world makes sense to me. I'm constantly confused. I use Google like it is nobody's business, okay? Yeah, next up. Moving along, Ralph Mortensen has something to say. Um, he says, very simple, straight to the point, close your mouth. I will not, I will not. Because if I close my mouth, then I would not be doing my job and I wouldn't get paid and I have bills to pay, you know? Unless you wanna pay my bills, Ralph. I will totally close my mouth and not do anything and not work if you wanna pay my bills. Didn't think so. John Kuga says, the week's biggest fail. That was for my video fails of the week. So he's tying it in here. He's being strategic. The week's biggest fail was the time I had to spend trying to watch a video in the middle of all the commentary. It's like we are being forced to watch these shallow people put on a sideshow. John, I'm gonna teach you something about like technology in uh, 2021. You don't have to watch, you, know, you don't have to click on that video. You don't have to click play. You don't have to watch and guess what? When you start watching, there's this magic thing of like the back button or the X in the top right corner. Just leave, 
<gasps> oh my god, imagine just being able to leave from watching the video. Imagine not having to actually click on that video in your feed. Like, technology, I'm just, that's incredible. It's incredible. Carrie Russell says, your outfit drove me away. Well, Carrie, it's a good thing that I don't dress for you and I dress for myself. So, and that's really sad. <laughs> like, I can't imagine not watching like a YouTube video or a movie or anything being like, oh, I don't like that girl's outfit. So, not gonna watch. Like, is that really what you judge things on? Someone's outfit, someone's appearance? I think that speaks volumes of you shallow not me scott commerce says this girl is always like i am so confused or i just don't understand <laughs> caitlin foster agreed and wrote yeah she drives me nuts i mean i can't even disagree on that caitlin i drive a lot of people nuts imagine actually knowing me and being around me and being in my life like i genuinely feel bad for the people around me in my life because I'm annoying. I drive myself nuts 90% of the day, so I get it. Amy Eads says, I'm sorry, but that top isn't flattering. Well then, I didn't know the fashion police was all over Facebook, but are you the judge of what's flattering on my body? I'm just confused. Like all these females are writing like, I don't want to watch because your outfit, that shirt's not flattering. I feel sorry for people who have to go on the internet and put down other people's appearance. Like I can't imagine going online and telling another female like that their shirt is not flattering. Girl, you look great. Who am I to judge? You rock whatever you want, you wear what you want, whatever makes you feel good, okay? If I felt like it flattered my body, that's all that matters. Damn, these people are just wilding on Facebook. For anyone confused as to why I'm referring to Facebook, because our YouTube channels actually have Facebook pages, so our videos get posted on YouTube and also Facebook. And I'm not gonna lie, Facebook people are crazy. All right, Brenda Combs, did I? I think Brenda Combs already insulted me in this video. <gasps> We got another one. Oh, she really hates me. Um, she said, she really isn't the sharpest tool in the box. <laughs> Paul Agostini agreed with Brenda and wrote, I've noticed that as I watch more of her vids. Well, save yourself the time. I wish I could have told you in the first video you saw of me, not the brightest gray. Whoa, <laughs> there you go, prime example. Not the brightest crayon in the box, you guys. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. Like legit, but I'm not claiming to be, so. David Gardiner says, please, please stop saying literally if you are gonna do things like this, stop. Literally, I don't even know what you're talking about. I never say literally. And honestly, literally, if I'm gonna do YouTube, literally, who says I can't say the word literally? How many times was that, like five? <laughs> I don't even think that was like grammatically correct because I was trying to say literally. Um, for real though, like you can't say the word literally if you're a full-time YouTube host. I'm confused. I'm confused. Where's this rule book? I seem to be missing out on these memos. All right guys, well, those are some of the most entitled people on the internet from my experience, obviously on my videos. If you wanna be one of them, comment down below. Comment those insults. <laughs> Clearly I just like making light of the situation because what are you gonna do? You know, I'm not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. People are allowed to have their opinions of me, whatever, if they wanna judge me, I get it. So, might as well smile, laugh it off, spread kindness and positivity, and just shake it off, like Taylor Swift would say. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you wanna see more of this. I will keep them coming. And also subscribe, come say hi on social media, do all the things if you wanna keep hanging out with me. Thanks so much for watching. I was Joss Bedard, I'll see you in another one. Bye.